Hey hey, this is Raz Metal Infy back at you again with another raw unedited video and as you can already see it's going to be another MRE video so this is um, the first of my new batch if you watch my recent video, my latest video um, was um, just a little bit of a preview showing you the things I've got so I'm going to be doing one of these this one I'm going to do, menu 7 beef brisket entree gravy with seasoned beef brisket slices i apologize once again just to start now because i'm still kind of ill so i'm a bit slow so i'm hopefully i can get through trying some of this stuff without being too without getting too ill again because i haven't been eating much or anything so i'm hoping i'm all right i've got all my stuff prepared here my cups my glasses my water boiled and cold so hopefully it's all good and i'm going to start getting it out for you guys Getting this out for you guys. <laughs> I should clarify. Alright, so let's get these out of the way. So I've got my accessory pack there, which I will open up afterwards. We have whoa, Mills. Here we go. Mills, Mills, Mills. Right, first things first, like I usually do. It's probably a smart idea is to um, stick on the ration heater. Get the food heating up main course and this in this case a starter as well I've got my water here let's get this open and hopefully I'll do the right amount of water this time yes um, yeah, that's plenty. I always put way too much in. You don't actually need that much in it. Um, and I will put the beef brisket meal into it. I don't know if I put enough of that. Can I put enough water in that? Oh yeah, she needs a bit more water. Makes a change. Put, put too little in. It is starting to fizzle. I don't think it's spread out enough. Small more. Another small bit. Oh, that is really hot on the bottom in part of it now. So hopefully this spreads out. I think you can go along the bottom of it. The um. Or gratin potatoes. Or gratin. And hopefully this will heat up enough here to get decently warm at least. I'm going to lay it down over here. Still don't feel like it's getting very hot. Part of it is hot. It is starting to smoke now though, so I'll leave it. I'll just be patient. Maybe I'm just being impatient. And let's start getting this other stuff sorted then. And again, I really do apologise if I'm being quite slow here because I am very, very weak at the moment. I'll get my spoon out. Right, saying that, it's not any worse than usual. I'm not very good at these videos in the first place. Get my knife over there. I don't need that today. And I'll start moving stuff off here actually so I can put stuff into compartments. And the first thing we have is an oatmeal cookie. It's in one piece, which is pretty cool. Don't look like there's any like chips or fruit or anything in it, but it may be inside. But it's in one piece, which is actually pretty amazing. Um, Smells good. Smells really nice. That oatmeal fruity smell to it, like um, cinnamon or ginger or something like that. I'll put the rubbish beside me. We have peppermint candy rings, which I'm assuming are going to be like lifesavers or polos. Lifesavers I've never had before. I just know I've heard Americans talk about them and compare them to our polos. Um, yeah, they are. They're, they're lifesavers. Individually wrapped, and there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not too bad. 
nine of them. I think that was all of them in the pack. And when I thingied earlier, I said they might be broken because they sounded like they were like, felt like they were crumbled, but they're not. They're actually fine, so interesting. So we have the peanut butter and jam. Irish cream cappuccino powder. And this is for... Water, this is for where did it say there you go six ounces it was actually fill up to the line basically they make it in here i was interested to try it cold uh, not cold try it hot because i always try it cold but i'm not too sure yeah that's what i'm gonna do to be honest i'm gonna try this a bit differently here it looks like there's another cold drink so i'm gonna put this into I am going to put this, let me back and open it. I'm going to put this into this cup, into a mug. It smells nice. And I am going to use boiling water and I'm going to have this as a hot drink. Might help me out a bit. Hot drinks are always good. Oh, I spilled water on my tray. Never mind, let's try and. It's going to be kind of thick because there's a lot of powder probably. Scrape the bottom of the bowl, make sure oh, the cup, make sure nothing's in there. I've never tried these hot, which is going to be interesting. And I'll leave that there. It smells really good. Now I get that bit of water out there. This is my expert way of cleaning. And wipe off the spoon. And here we have the wheat snack bread. And this is white wheat snack bread. And it's just a. Oh no, it's broken hot. Never mind. It actually broke perfectly. Broke perfectly, almost perfectly, to make a little sandwich a little bit off. Oh, actually, it's broken to three, so that's been like bent. That's a shame. Never mind, it don't make any difference really. So I'll leave that there. Actually, we might put it on the sides here because then I can have this um, potato gratin separate to the main course. There you go, look at that, that's perfect. Knead up the peanut butter. It's a well full one, this one. <laughs> Let's get this peanut butter onto here. There's loads in this. Leave that to the side here, that's more than half a packet. I apologise, usually I'd be talking, as well. I've probably apologised quite a few times already, but usually I'd be talking um, a lot more whilst I'm preparing stuff, but I am just really tired really i probably shouldn't have recorded to be fair but and i cannot open this jam there you go finally got this jam open what i'm going to do is i'm going to put jam on this bit nice strawberry jam smells nice and i'm going to put jam on this bit as well With it like this, I can try a bit now with just peanut butter, a bit with peanut butter and jam, and a bit with um, with just jam. Open the little accessory kit. More rubbish. Toilet paper, salt, moist towel. Oh, two packs of salt, interestingly enough. 
I guess so, because there's an entree and a side, so it's quite useful, maybe. Um, toilet paper, which is I use at the end when I'm cleaning up a bit. A moist towelette, which I'll use to wipe my hands at the end, and some normal white gum. And a drink, which I'm in. Yeah, which is a raspberry, beverage based raspberry. And these ones are made with 20 ounces actually. It's a lot of water for these. I don't think, I think that's over a pint in it. I'm not too sure. I'm just going to use a pint glass and get this into here. smells good like it smells good before it's a drink when it's still just powder which is always a good sign I think there you go there's almost a pint of raspberry stir this up a little bit see it's still quite dark so it's probably does need a bit more water, but I like to do strong, so just wipe this drink, this um, spoon down again, and hopefully these have had long enough to get a bit warm now. Um, yeah, these feel warm. The gratin potatoes feel, I wouldn't say they feel boiling, but they feel warm enough to eat. Let's get in here. Rip the top along the seal out. It's actually really hot, this part of it, where my hand is. There you go, potatoes or gratin. Or gratin, or whatever you want to call it. So it's just potato, sliced potatoes and cheese, right? I believe this has changed. I think, if I remember rightly, it used to be, um, in the really old rations, it used to be cubed potatoes. And now it's um, the slices. And last but not least, hopefully get it out of here without burning myself, is the um, main course, the beef brisket. Which I've definitely been interested in trying. And again, I think I mentioned it before, but make sure you don't... Um, I left this on the side before and all the juice tipped out of it, the water in there. And with the chemical in it, it stains a lot. And I've got these black cushions, which were totally ruined by this. And they were really... Actually, I wouldn't say they're totally ruined. They were usable again. It was just they do have like a faint outline of the mark again on it still. So I'll leave that there. And... I'm just trying to cool this down here with my hand. You might be able to see at the top of the camera because it's really hot. And I need to wipe this off. There you go. Beef brisket. Oh, opening. Oh, that's pouring out of the packet. There's a lot in there. I'm going to use this spoon again to get the last dregs out of it. Cool. And I think that's about it. And I've got all my rubbish sitting on the chair next to me. And that's it. That's the full meal. So, yeah. What I'll do is I'll try a bit first without like the salt and stuff. And then I'll add the salt after to see if the so um makes a difference so this is the beef brisket so you can just see beef gravy um not too sure what else is in there i don't think there's anything don't look like there's any veg let me try i've got the card here um cook season sliced beef brisket and yeah that's literally it there's no veg or nothing in it there's good chunks of beef, like slices of beef. But brisket is sliced beef, is it? I believe, like thinly sliced and barbecued. So it's hard to see because it's the same colour as the um, 
spoon, but I'll try that bit of brisket. Yeah, it's pleasant. It's um, it's not beautiful. You don't expect that from a thingy, but it's edible. It's um, it reminds me of tins of like stewing steak you can get in England. I don't know if you can get them in America. Like just tins of stewing steak that you can just literally tip out and um, put in a bowl and stick in the microwave for a minute or two. It's got a similar sort of taste to that. It's um, the gravy. It's pretty salty already, so I don't think you need much salt on it. Um, what be? I think the thingy would be a bit nicer with it. Um, one of them peppers, hot peppers that came with the other rashers I've got. I'll try a bit of the potato gratin, which it's just potato and cheddar basically, potatoes and cheese, and it's pleasant again. It's um, potatoes and cheese. There's not much to it. It's got the cheesy sort of taste of the cheese spreads the MRE cheese taste try a bit together I'm not sure if you're meant to put these together I guess they are they do two things like this together a bit of them together yeah they complement each other quite nicely like the um got a little bit of crunch with the potatoes a little bit harder texture whereas the beef is quite soft and soggy so they go quite well together and the saltiness they're both quite salty i'm not sure i'm gonna put some salt on them but <clears throat> i'm not sure you'd need both the thingies of salt <coughs> to be fair so i guess if you got this you could keep a salt for i don't know if you trade things like the salt look there's a lot of salt there coming out there's a lot in that packet that like you would really not need i think you'd probably kill yourself if you end up putting but that's half that packet and it's already like I put way too much on. So not too sure why they thought the idea of putting two of them in. I guess they thought because there's two meals, but mix it up a bit just so I don't get all the salt on top. And I'll try a little bit of each again. A bit of potatoes. And a bit of um a bit of um beef. Try it together again. Mm, yeah, that's um, that's really salty. Now, if you like, I like a lot of salt, to be fair. So it's not too much of a problem for me. But I can imagine that being way too salty for a lot of people. It's not, um, it's not for the faint-hearted. If you're not a fan of salty food, then I don't think you'll like it at all. But I like it. Uh, it's good enough. I'm going to have a bit of the juice, the raspberry juice. And that's good, it just tastes like a good dilute juice. It kind of tastes like the um, dilute Ribena you can get. And this is the Irish cream coffee. I'll try a bit of this quickly. But that'll probably get you a bit dehydrated, to be honest. So it's a bit um, weird. That's okay. Mm, I think I prefer it cold, to be honest. But it's, it's pleasant enough, it's nice enough. Wheat snack bread, we always know what wheat snack bread tastes like. Um, try a tiny bit just on its own. Yeah, no problem. It tastes fresh enough. A bit with peanut butter. Yeah, peanut butter's fine. The jam. Yeah, the jam's really nice. Strawberry, sweet strawberry jam. And a bit of the mix, which is probably going to be the best. Hmm. Yeah, that's all really good. That's all, everything tastes fine. Snack, you can't really say much about snack bread. Once you've had one, you've had it all, haven't you? And it's just making sure everything is consistent, like... Even in some of the older ones, I think I've never had one with bad um, peanut butter or jam. I think it's always been pretty good. This is really good, really solid and definitely quite fresh still.
and that's really good. They're a really nice cookie. That's a really nice cookie. It's um flavoured really nicely. It's got cinnamon or something or other along them lines. Cinnamon or mm. and it's yeah, it's got a nice fruity taste, nice crunch to it, nice consistency. It's decent. That's a really really nice cookie. I like that. And last but not least, I won't bother with a gum because I've tried done them before a lifesaver I'm gonna guess this is the same as a polo it looks exactly the same yeah just a peppermint ring and I guess because you got nine of these it'd be nice you could have them in your pocket for a while after you've had your meal one for your breath straight away after the meal and then you can have them throughout the day when you're moving around it's a bit of substance and yeah, they're nice. And overall, that's a really good meal. I'm quite happy with that. I think I definitely think that if you don't like really salty, you won't like this meal. Because um, not so much the potatoes, they're fine. But this um, brisket is definitely quite salty without salt. And then, yeah, it might be too salty without salt. And, I, and as I said, two things of salt there. So a bit crazy. Crazy amount of salt. But apart from that, your cookie's great. Your usual wheat snack bread and peanut butter and jam is great. And yeah, you've got loads of sweets and some gum for later. So I guess you could use them for your breath after your meal, your gum, chicken gun, and then have the um, them to trade or to eat later or something. And you've got a good cold drink, which I'm going to have another swig of. Yeah, and I guess this, I don't know if you'd have this as a cold drink or a hot drink. Usually have them as cold. I think I prefer it as a cold drink, but... I don't know, you might not, because there's no coffee in this one. You might want something hot when you're out. If you have access to hot water, that is. So, it's pretty nice, though. It's decent. It's not, um... It's not amazing. It's not incredible, but it's good. Overall, that's a really good meal. I rate that meal. And... Yeah, I like that brisket. I do like the brisket. Um, like I said, I do like salty food, so I'm alright with it. Um, thank you for watching. I am... Um... Razmet Lymphy. Sorry again for being a bit quiet and thingy there. I've definitely not too well. So I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded. It doesn't matter to you. You'll see it when you see it. So check out my other video that I've just put up. The last video before this would have been the reviews of... Um, would have been the preview showing this one and the other five that I got. So if you want to check out that video and tell me on this video what one you want me to do next or what I could do to make these better or what I could do differently, what I'm doing wrong, blah, blah, blah. Like, dislike, subscribe and everything else. And thank you for watching and goodbye.